ark. Salvation first. Ark. On the way to heaven. Ebusia for Mama Yam Ko Heaven, why? I want to urge you all so we can go to heaven. Let's go to heaven together. And so the things which are going to hinder you from going to heaven is what I'm going to teach this evening. And it's And so this evening let's study something about unforgiveness and bitterness. Unforgiveness is taking a lot of people to hell instead of heaven. Than alcohol, than alcohol and fornication. I want me come a corner, can I go make us an abbe? Pro, I am made a Kenya and Matrewala, a lot and Hasiwala, Mumia, Ella Megade, Proga, a quiet Juma for me. I'm fine, che. And they are dear, they didn't probably be a cobber in some gym. I say, one or more, or my dear, and I say, what dare be ye. Unforgiveness and bitterness will take a lot of people to hell than heaven than those who are involved in witchcraft and murdering. Let me teach you certain things that unforgiveness and bitterness do. Do you know that unforgiveness and bitterness deprives us a lot of good things in the spiritual realm? It can hinder our, the answer to our prayers. The it's also a chain that binds our soul. And Do you also know that unforgiveness and bitterness really disturbs our brain? The fact is that unforgiveness and bitterness really disrupt our kind of mentality or the way we think. This same thing which is the unforgiveness and bitterness also Blinds, blindfolds us. Do you also know that unforgiveness and bitterness can turn one to become a witch? Do you know that unforgiveness and bitterness defiles, defiles the soul more than the sins that we commit? Do you 
Nimpa be bre ne wwa omwe wwa omwen timian kwa heaven. En yese boni bia wa ye. Ne mum ni ya u de bia neti wokumem. There are many who have missed heaven, not because they were sinners, but because they were keeping the spirit of unforgiveness and bitterness in them. Mian of Yodo eko kuba ya, menya na de keta o ide juma vomo, ve vese sekple, macho macho ke e anabo o ide juma vomo. Bonibu o ho bi de yawa, e ye ya papa. Some can actually decide to kill you slowly with a certain kind of sin. Sometimes we cannot get out the pain and the bitterness that people cause us from within. So be careful so that unforgiveness and bitterness do not take you to hell. So we can come Mark chapter 11 verse 25. If you read the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 25. It says that if you are going to pray and you have bitterness against someone, leave the prayers and the gifts at the altar, go back home and make peace with your friend or your family before you come back. There's this one thing that really amazes me in Matthew chapter 6. There's this one Verse 13. Verse 13. 12 and 13. 12 and 13. So Matthew chapter 6, 12 and 13. I say, for ye 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 it says, forgive us our sins just as we have forgiven those who have also sinned against us. Completely. If you consider this scripture, then you have to know that until you have forgiven that of your friend completely, God cannot forgive you your sins. Mark 11, 25. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 to 15. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6 to 27. Matthew chapter 6, verse 12 and 13, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, and Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. So what can say nyama we nyina ekasafa unforgiveness? All these scriptures I've just read out all talks about unforgiveness. Now to bitterness. Bitterness defiles our heart and mind. And bitterness also separates us from our own happiness. 
Yaudie ema yetume dane eye demons anase emon samfo. Bitterness also turns us to into demons. So there is a ekwona mi wona no abe amade ikenye gbogbomalo ajeto. Anfanche ene yaudie etume de high blood pressure ba. Unforgiveness and bitterness can actually or actually brings about high blood pressure. sickness Bitterness and unforgiveness brings about migraine. Ya udie ene amfanche etume de akumayare edeba to say asthma a wabo lungs infection in yine etume deba. Unforgiveness and bitterness also brings about um, heart, disease. heart diseases asthma. such as asthma, coughing, tuberculosis. All that I want you to understand this evening is that unforgiveness and bitterness is taking a lot of people to hell. Whoever has caused you pain, do you realize that if you haven't forgiven the person, the very moment you see the person, you shake? You frown your face. You actually frown your face. And you frown So if you happen to meet the person, your beauty actually diminishes. Mechra o nimpa horwa o ma ye nyame adwuma o ma som nyame wo lifetime nyina enam ye odie ene amfa nchenti o ma kwa hell a wodoso If I want to tell you about people who have actually done the work of God but because of unforgiveness I in hell you be amazed Me die ma gbona fie be amegede o ike wo ma wodo pe mo be be pe jijopopoto ya there's this thing that is going to be very painful. The fact that after living a righteous life and after doing everything possible to make heaven, but because of unforgiveness or bitterness, you will not make heaven, but rather you go to hell. Because of this international pie, mommy. Now, bomb pie mo be a son, sir. A train if for a how I do her cobble in some gym. A am fine chair and a yawdy. For this reason, I want you to always pray for me and pray for everyone else as well because the righteous person is actually going to hell because of bitterness and unforgiveness. If you can be a virgin or a saint, but because of unforgiveness and bitterness, you can keep all the Ten Commandments and be a virgin or a saint, but because of unforgiveness and bitterness, you will go to hell. So okay, can Hebrews chapter twelve verse fifteen. Hebrews chapter twelve verse fifteen. Acts chapter eight verse twenty-three. 
Acts chapter 8, verse 23. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. Ephesians 4, 31. And a lamentation chapter 3, verse 15. Ebeka yaudia hun samun yinachira. All the scriptures I've given out right now actually talks about bitterness. Quotation Akata Mayona Fifia Akata Nupomucho Vesesseum. Now, dear me, per se, what shall that kind of year pa? A Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. But I want you to pay attention to the scripture, which is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Hey, Kevin, and a Medina Hebrew top up, but let's have a cook if we are talking. Hey, you may. Medesa as some way hunsun sanswa bebre quaya efforts were demons. Enya a Christo for whom quite true unforgiveness and bitterness. This evening I'm going I'm teaching about how demons get their ways into people's life be just because of bitterness and unforgiveness. Fia ya melanada fio a ben like futola to ton on the jig ben on lemia pack bon a bet macho macho kepli beverses. Senia Adoma Chadia Nina etumi free ni paso anase ewu e sign Amfan Chani Yao DNT. Just be because of unforgiveness and bitterness, even the gift you have can just vanish out. Macho macho kepli vesa seta ma open bogbo fana na eka onawa o kata jolo kwa gbeji. E wu die ne boni a amfa nche ne ya odie e di ba ya bra bo mu no. They are lot na me be listen ni na ma so. The kind of mystery that is behind unforgiveness and bitterness are just many, but trust me I'm going to list them for you. Gbegbe yi ke apo le macho macho ke ku be se se ma. So be I obani a facha do I. If someone has wronged you, please forgive. Ne yeba made wa nu vonda wa koke. En krofu be I ye niyama en ho ya odie e wo umu a odo fu yifiru umu a. If you have bitterness because someone has wronged you, please take it out from you. Ne yeba bebe se de lejima na made wa nado ovo wa made kuku na koke. Rapture e wo ye ni mahaya. Rapture is closer than we thought. He came at Ellen Wugafi Fiel and Yapango. Messenger Morrison here, Obetimi, our Sapome, and as a Wafreme, I was zero two four seven seven zero one three six four. This is Messenger Morrison, as always. You can contact or WhatsApp me on zero two four seven seven zero one three six four. And you are making a new phone in your baller, Morrison, and a new phone. You can walk up for your senior zero two four seven 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 zero one three six four. I turn them horse up a lot of you. And it's in a vagas belongs to the Lord. You are a dear beer through, Moses. I want you to know that yes, vengeance belongs to the Lord. So please take out the bitterness. My dear, my brother, if you are a job, I'm going to come over. Okay. Na wa hwe ne ya obedi e chire akoto amenemu Else you will be sorry where you will be Eh me ponyu na wa vagade edome God bless you Nyamishwa munyina mona ira miakata lefia ya